This is where it gets complicated. It just penetrates the surface of the water. I'm at Innis Fly Fishery here in St. Austell. Fishing the nine foot five weight technique, Rob, and a new anti-wake hover tip. Two foot of the tip just breaks the water surface and sits there. I'm pulling two flies, top dropper is a cormorant, point fly is a small gold head cat's whisker. Just underneath the surface there, I can just see it. Nice, nice. You don't want a fly line to make a wake. Okay, if it creates a wake on its retrieve, I think it's, oh, I know it scares fish. Nice little ripple, cloud cover, October, what could possibly go wrong? Pull those, get those underneath the surface. Stand to the left so you can see me. Yeah, that's nice. That tip, I haven't allowed the tip to quite break the surface because as soon as it's landing, I'm retrieving. So it's acting as like a, I don't know, an anti-weight line. Goes out nice and straight, even with a back cast like that. Just gonna let that tip of that fly line just break the surface of the water. So it's gonna go down to about that much. What's it gonna call that? Three, four inches? And when fish are looking up, that's what you want. If they see the fly line creating a wake, a surface disturbance, they don't like it, it scares them. Little twitches, bringing it back. Start with mini laws and cormorants. See if they want to chase. It's the middle of the day. I never like the middle of the day on a fishery. But hey, let's see how we go. Nine foot five weight technique. Very sort of um, fast. Recovery, but it bends a lot. It bends a lot. You need a rod to bend a lot. It's my mantra. You should know it by now. Rods should have a lot of feel in them. When you're playing a fish, if a rod's too stiff, you lose it. It's as simple as that. Yep, that cat's whisker is literally four inches below the surface, exactly where I want it. It's quite a long-headed fly line, this. What it means is, I can make a long cast, watch this now. And it remains very stable, so it turns over a longer leader, so I can fish two, three flies with these. This is the new Sunray hover tip, midge tip, whatever you want to call it. Two foot of the tip just breaks the surface of the water to fish those flies in the top four inches. So think spiders, think rising coronamids, think anti-wake tip for lures cormorants, things like that. The top six inches, this is what you want. If you've got a full float and you're retrieving, pulling, quite often creates a wake. I think that wake scares fish, but I know it does. It's actually quite warm. <laughs> there you go. Oh, <laughs> he came off. Yeah, nice. That tip's really working. Doing exactly what I want it to do. So, I wasn't taking aggressively. It's got a longer head on it. It's about, oh, I don't know, I don't know, maybe 60 foot in total. Tapers are what we call compound tapers, which means they're fancy, basically. They go, oh, 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 like that. And it sort of modulates. I use this analogy of, you know, remember Mousetrap, the board game, dropping a uh, ball bearing and it duh, duh, like that. That's what the energy does on this line. Mousetrap, a game's mousetrap. Build a contraption to trap the other mice, but don't get caught yourself. Turn the crank, get the boot suddenly. We're done the shoot. Move the hand. The marble drop the dive up, look, we just can't stop. This is any action. A crazy contraption. The fun is catching. Wanna bite? 
you know what we call a shooting head taper? It's a long head profile. A few more false casts just to get the whole head length out. But then, you know, makes really nice, long, stable casts like that. Turns over the leader perfectly. Just let that tip break the water a little bit. Yeah, break the water surface. Making this line is quite difficult, to be honest. A little physics lesson. Water has the specific gravity of one. So to make something sink, it has to be greater than one. But you have to take into account the meniscus, the water surface film tension. That has an energy as well. So you've got to break the, the surface of the water in the same way that a pin, if you drop it on the water a certain way, it won't sink, but it's metal. It's because you have to break the surface tension of the water. So it's a real balancing act between a fine diameter front taper tip and the specific gravity of the coating. It can all be a bit touchy-feely at times. Believe me, the factory will not thank you if you ask for multiple, multiple different designs just to get it right. Oh, it's not quite, oh, oh, oh. They won't thank you for that, trust me. <laughs> You'll become very unpopular very quickly. So, it comes with experience, you know, just knowing what diameter of plastic will break the surface film and then what, what we call microspheres, which are small glass bubbles to put in to adjust the specific gravity of the tip. And that's what I've done here with this hover line. It's got the perfect balance of diameter of tip to break the surface tension, and then specific gravity using microspheres to put it where I want it, which is the top four inches. Sunray, hover tip. Oh, he had a fish take already. Wasn't really concentrating, so I didn't strike very well. I think I can see fish moving out there. In the centre of the lake. Oh, that tip's gorgeous. Just the end of that line, that fly line. It's just breaking the surface in a lovely, gentle sort of... Stop standing on your line. Lovely, gentle arc. I've got a weird back cast here. I have to punch it high. To get it out like that. I could fish a longer rod, probably make it easier on myself, but I don't want him. I want to fish really light today. Got a very soft action technique, five weight here. Yeah, see that, that, that's fish moving right out in the middle of the lake. It's a big cast. See those jumping? They're not big fish, probably newly stocked. Let's try and cover those. Okay, nice gentle pickup. There's a longer head, so you've got a few more false casts to get it out the tip. Don't stand on it. That would help. And then, yeah. Okay, so they're out. Now it's out in the fish, where the fish are. I expect a fish here, to be honest. Okay, I'm gonna punch one out here. Well, I know that's covering the fish. I'm just not sure if they are taking fish. When you see fish sort of doing that, they're not really taking there. Doing something else. Oh, there you go. So yeah, second fish already. Quite pleased about that. Not taking long. He has taken, oh, this technique. You see, I'm using a five weight today, the technique, because they're not big fish in here. This is only a pound, pound and a half. But see that curve on that rod? That's what you want. Pull him out of those weeds. Yeah, he's taking the point fly. Good fun. First fish of the day. 
I'm at Innes Fly Fishery here in St. Austell. Well maintained fishery, very, very nice. Three lakes, I think. I'm on the Technique nine foot five weight here, using the new hover tip sunray line. Quite a long headed fly line. It's, the fish are out in the middle of the lake today. So it's a long cast to cover them, but you can't have it landing like a heap. So this new line's enabled me to do that. Normally you'd be using a 10 foot rod, seven weight. Nine foot five. Nice fish. Barbless hooks. Don't even need to get him out of the water. Bring him in. Yeah, hard fight is here, Innes. Good fun. Good fun. Here we go. As I say, no need to even get him out of the water. There he is, away he goes. Okay, great, good fun. Nine foot five weight technique. The new hover tip, long headed fly line from Sunray. <clears throat> it's enabled me to cover the fish that are right out in the middle of the lake there. It's a big cast, I'll say it's a big cast, it is. But it got me that fish. Do it again. Oh, that's great. That fly is exactly where I want it to be. <laughs> that's a big cast on five weight, nine foot, wasn't it? Okay. Get it stripped back. Yeah, there's no way. Could the end of that fly. Oh, there's one there. There he is. Nice. And again. Great fun. Loving this line and this outfit. End of October. Nice. Ah, nice. Really bend into a fish. As long as the rod has got shock absorption, you're not gonna lose the fish. Proper bend into it. Nice fish. Very well conditioned. Hey, they fight well here, in us. Don't need to get him out of the water. Well, I don't, anyway. Okay. <clears throat> nice, nice, nice. Nice big cast. Yeah, of course, I can move to a 10 foot rod. It would make it easier, but, um, actually, oh, there we go, again. Nice. Nice. So, this line's really helping me, okay? Long headed line. The people have been fishing here this afternoon, this morning, they pushed all the fish out into the middle lake. I've come here with a nine foot five weight, long headed, 
summary hover tip. Mini law. Ah, he's got off. <laughs> hey, happens, happens. Let's do it again. Yeah, there we go. And again. Ah, oh, he's off. He's off. He's off. He's off. Right, they are a long way out. Ooh, it's a big cast, big cast. There he is, he's coming. There he is, oh, he's tough. He'll come back, he'll come back, he'll come back. He'll come back, he has to come back. There he is. Oh yeah. <laughs> Woo, fucking hell. Oh yeah, good fun. Good fun, man. A lot of good fun. I say, could swap to a heavier rod longer. Ooh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> In England, we call that a builder's bum. What you just saw there. Nice, good. All right, cool. Another one. Not been here long. Touched five fish, landed three. Been here 15 minutes. Good fun here in this. Loving it. Ooh. Why? What did you just talk? It's rod, honestly. It's like a two way. You've got shock absorption, you're not going to lose the fish. Look, there it is. That's our first ever fly line. That's in a box. That's often, mostly, how fly lines come to you.